Alliance Tech today. Uh, today we are pumping down an ammonia refrigeration system. We have a couple uh, things you got to do. We got to pump. We've already started to pump out a uh, pump, oh, pump down of the system, and um, we got a special treat for you guys today. You guys, this is kind of rare. You, you'll ever see uh, this type of um, uh, thing happen in a. In, in a working environment you'll actually see <clears throat> these kind of people in here and, uh, we got the CEO and the CEO of Frederick Alliance Frederick look at these guys they're actually going to work today they're ready to pop out and Deciding on, on what we're going to be, where we're going to be pulling from on the system, and we're going to be most likely sucking the low points out first because the truck's already uh, in a vacuum, the tanks are in a vacuum. So, the, the, the low points out first, and that point over there, we can suck the headers out. Headers are pretty much dry. We uh, pumped everything out last night, and uh, we do have clean valves closed on the system here. So, uh, we're going to close this line as well, uh, start the compressors back up, pump this line out into one three full liquid, and um, I think that's it. And then we'll start burning out the C lines and stuff later. But um, uh, stay tuned, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, here's one of our senior techs, Jake. You know, this is uh, this was his facility here, but they they they're moved out, and he's uh, he's gonna help condemn this place with us today. So he's the lead man on point. <laughs>
guys got the receiver, so. Your pressure? Yeah. About five pounds? Five yeah, about, inches? About five pounds. Yeah. That's 40. About four, a little above 40. Yeah, 42. I checked the pressure transducer at 42 PSI. Earlier, it was like around 55 or 60 when you said you were at 20. Yeah. So it was at 50, 60 pounds. So. so let's keep sucking. Let's see. Nice. A lot of vapor. Huh? Yeah. So basically what we found on in here is that um um there's a big piece of ice underneath the floor. The floor is kind of heaved. You kind of see it heaved right here. It's, it's not level. And the whole floor row has raised in this freezer. You can see the joints kind of popping up and stuff. This used to be a freezer. So I'll show you how far it's come down since we first marked it. Actually Jake marked it. So put this beam in and we marked it here before and the beam has already fell over an inch so from here so this this floor is actually falling back down again and you can kind of see it over here even more even better Actually, floor actually came up all the way down. It came all the way up. So it'll eventually settle back down. And when it does, I don't want to be here because that's when the bad stuff could happen. So, good stuff. So here's the crack. It starts right there. And it's all heaved. And all heaved. And this over here is a cooler on this side. But right next to the right of me is a freezer. So the underfloor failed. Because uh, that whole freezer floor over there is completely lifted. And you can see here, we have a little mark here. It's only come down about maybe half an inch. So, crazy. You know, this, is, this is warming up here a little bit. Well, we've got like 36. Keep, keep sucking, man. <laughs> so today we pumped down the system. We removed all the ammonia out of the system. Um, we burned out most of the traps that we could. And um, as far as uh, right now, uh, the traps are, um, have no ammonia in them, system's flat, and it's holding in a vacuum. So tomorrow we're gonna come in with construction and bring the whole place down, uh, bring all the, cut all the pipes out and start removing the existing refrigeration system. So stay tuned.